let's talk about how I put this piece of junk together. It's a 1996 Murray. The way you identify that is you come down here to the code on the engine. I don't know if you guys can see this on camera, but the first two digits of your code, which is 96, is the year of manufacture. The next two digits is the day of manufacture, and the next two digits is the month of manufacture. So 1996, was that July 2nd, I think? The 6th? I don't know. I'll figure it out. If, if I'm wrong, you guys will beat me up in the comments. On your model, the first two digits is your cubic inch. So it's 28 cubic inch. It makes 12 horsepower. The uh, throttle assembly here is built. I'm using the stock governor, but when this one pulls wide open, an arm comes up and actuates the choke. So I had to remove the choke mechanism. And when you pull this too far and it does engage the choke, it actually cuts the throttle back a little bit. So I had to find out precisely where wide open throttle really is on this thing. But basically what I made was, so this is a piece of steel and I drilled holes in it and then a hole this way and I tapped it for these two bolts. I'm using, this is part of the original throttle cable that came with the machine. Locks in that plastic block right there real nice. This is a GoPed Sport front brake cable. And then I just pretty much just put the bolts in there, tighten them up. And that's my linkage. Um, I made literally everything to hook this up. So this was just a piece of um, three quarter inch flat. And then this is half inch steel. And I drilled a big hole and a little hole to accommodate, to hold the um, cable. Over here on the gas pedal side. Um, this is this half inch bar. And I bent and then welded a piece of diamond plate on it when I really need to move all of this like out here because this is where my foot normally is. Um, same kind of scenario over here. I had a cut a slot in it, but I got a big hole, a little hole, so the cable can get through it. Extra return springs, my throttle was sticking. And then oh, I'm in the sunlight. I made a throttle stop here. So this way when I go do go wide open, I know where my wide open actually is and I don't pull my my cable assembly apart on the other side of the motor and then this is just a piece of half inch i just drilled a hole through it and slid it and slid it that's my gas pedal i moved the shifter usually it's down here in the middle to up here so it goes reverse to neutral one two three four and then after that there's no, no other gears but oh it's in reverse we stand this thing up I got a block behind the wheel to kind of hold it, and I'll show you guys the uh, the underside and how I did the actual pulley slot. Where'd my stick go? Oh boy. So the engine used to have a big. Um, assembly here that had a pulley for the belt and then a little pulley up top to drive the transmission well i got rid of all that and i put a four inch taper lock on it back here on the transaxle there used to be a five to six inch pulley going into it so if we had maybe three inches up here five inches back there it takes a lot of engine revolutions to get anything out of the transmission which is why these have so much torque when they're stock so i got rid of all that and i had to make my own clutch this is just flat bar welded into a T, drilled a hole in it, added a spring to fight me to basically add tension and then the pedal when I step on it, relieves it. But yeah, just basically just two pulleys and make a zigzag, whatever. I had a notch to parking brake that fits into this slot, so that way it would actually work again and have a true uh, neutral. And that's pretty much it, man. The exhaust is made out of three quarter inch conduit. It's kind of boogered up. I had to change it. It was like sticking out and the muffler was actually like out here, but the little guy would run up to me whenever I'm on it and he almost burned himself a few times. So I moved the muffler underneath the footwell and cut the exhaust back. But yeah, it's all three and a quarter inch conduit. I traced, I traced the exhaust gasket to make that flange. And then the original bolt holes for that were actually stripped. So what I have in there are seven sixteenths inserts to give me a quarter 20 thread. So the holes, actually I drilled them out to 7 16 and then the adapters I, I threaded in there. I, I'll, I'll dig those out in a second and show you what they are. Let me set this back down. But 
But yeah, that's pretty much it. Just a, a goofy little machine. But she runs good. She seems to be reliable. I filled the transmission up with oil, so that way it'll be uh, it'll last a little bit longer than traditional ones. Because normally, normally they're just full of grease, but there's a little detent down here. It's a little Allen head screw. So you can see it. You pull that Allen head screw out of there, there's a ball and a spring. You pull that crap out of there, you squirt your gear oil in there. I had some uh, ATF laying around, so I squirted some ATF in it. And it seems to work okay. I don't have any brakes because anywhere there's a seal, would, where, where, anywhere where there would be a seal, there isn't a seal on these because they're grease filled. So it pisses all the oil out everywhere. But yeah, that's pretty much how I made my really cheap race mower per se. Um, but yeah, she's not very fast, only 27 mile an hour. We'll, uh, we'll drop that video in here of me riding it so you guys can watch that. All right, let's get this thing, uh, let's get this thing warmed up. Oop. Period. Go for a little lap, get her warmed up. vibration doesn't distort the camera too much. very fast but it's fast enough to be uh, <laughs> fun so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna turn you back around hopefully you can stick to the front of this thing properly this time maybe I'm gonna get my app out again uh, speed 
we'll use this one. And then, I forgot how to reset this thing. Everything zero, current zero, average zero, maximum zero, distance zero. All right. this one not that one this one what is this advertisement all right maximum 27 miles an hour all right so it does 27 mile an hour now we know but now that the weather in Tennessee is finally broke um, I can actually get back to doing some things like the experimental two-stroke engine that we were putting a bunch of weird fuels in to see what it would do um, I still have that engine it's finally ready to run. Everything wants fixed. I think I mentioned that in my last video. Um, so I need to get on that. The uh, water cold sport is down. The um, I used this carburetor when I ran that engine over there on diesel fuel, and I really regret doing that. What happened was is there's two check valves under the, in the diaphragm area, and they both run the metering jets. So you get your high and low, but there's little these little check valves in there, so that way it don't just flood out. Well, if I shut the high side, it idles just fine. But as soon as I open the high and, and try to set it where I want it, it floods, it floods the engine and kills it. So that, that, that check valve is hanging open. And that's probably because of the diesel fuel I put through that carburetor, which yeah, was stupid, but for science purposes, right? Um, I got to order a new card for this. Um, so that's that's coming in. Um, I got to get a lockdown kit for the Bigfoot. That's still coming in. And there's also this, this little competition on Facebook that everyone's like trying to build the fastest LH with. So this one, the stock sport right here, is going to get torn down and I'm going to see how fast I can make this LH. Um, I believe the rules are it's got to be an ankle plug cylinder, cases and crank, but the modifications to that are unlimited. So, well, I mean, I gotta, I'm waiting for the rules to come out and see, but I'm, I'm kind of excited for that. And then there's another competition going on for the fastest hard drive or hard tire spindle driven scooter. So it has to be a sport spindle driven right now. And I mean, there's guys up at a 43, 44 mile an hour. And I think if I just put like an 800 or 900 spindle on here, I should be somewhere in that range and be able to compete a little bit. So we got that coming up all throughout the month of March. Hopefully we can get all that done and you know, some some sort of orderly fashion. So I got a major headache today, so my train of thought is a scattered. But uh but yeah, we'll see you guys soon.